Good morning everyone. It is Monday morning and back to work for me. Here is what I'm taking with me to work for beverages and food. I have my coffee for zero smart points with one tablespoon of Dairy Star fat free half and half for zero smart points. Over here I have my Teamy Tea which is one teaspoon of the Teamy Skinny and then I have some lemon juice in there as well. So coffee and tea are both zero smart points. For lunch I'm having peanut butter banana oatmeal. This is the oatmeal part. It is three smart points. I have a fourth cup of oatmeal for two smart points. I have two tablespoons of PB Fit for one smart point. I have a half cup of almond milk for zero smart points. I have a third cup of water for zero, and I have two sweetener packets for zero smart points. So I will heat this up at work for about one to two minutes, and then I actually need to go to the dollar store by my work today to get the banana. So it will be peanut butter banana oatmeal, and it will be three smart points. These are my snacks for today. They are all zero points, apple, some grapes, and then this is my cranberry jello mixture. Um, so all zero smart points and my strategy today is not that I am necessarily fasting until a specific time if I get hungry I'm going to have one of these zero points snacks but I am going to try and not have my oatmeal until about 5 o'clock p.m. today um, just because I need to eat dinner pretty late so everything that I'm having here until dinner is just going to be three smart points Hey everyone, happy Monday. I am back to work, back to business as usual, and here's my outfit of the day. So let's do a quick recap of the weekend. First of all, I enjoyed almost every single bite. Almost every bite was totally worth it, except for the few things that I had late at night, like the, what was it? Oh, the hotel uh, cinnamon bun thing and the dollar store pound cake, things like that were totally not worth it. Um, that was some just late night snacking, but everything else, the whole trip, so worth it. I'm super proud of myself for sticking to my points budget yesterday. Um, on the ride home when I could have had Costco pizza, Costco hot dog, I could have had some crazy stuff at Red Lobster, I could have had the Red Lobster biscuits, um, but I pre-planned what I was gonna have, I totally stuck to it, so I was able to get back on track for yesterday instead of waiting another day and getting back on track today. So I did weigh this morning on my scale, of course, and I will tell you that it's pretty much the same as coming off of any other weekend. So I'm very excited about that because that means I probably won't have a gain or it will be, if it is, it's going to be very minor. Um, so it could really actually go either way. And to be honest, it's really, a big part of it is going to be determined by how well the Teamy Tea works tonight, the Teamy colon. So um, I think it's gonna go, it's gonna be really close to what I was last week. So for me to enjoy everything I had this weekend, I had a lot of great food, um, and to enjoy a five day Thanksgiving weekend and come out with a maintain is absolutely perfect. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I think that's what it will be for tomorrow. So that means I can continue carrying on with my goals and getting down to 1.30 by December. 25th so which I think I will be able to do if you guys watch my video from yesterday I outlined some of the plans I have to get there um, so number one starting with the 20,000 steps um, let's talk a little bit about my workout day today so um, number one I plan uh, I think I told you in the video this morning I'm not necessarily planning to intermittent fast until 5 if I get hungry, I'm going to have some of my zero point snacks, which are basically fruit. It's all fruit. Um, so even if I have a higher fruit day than normal, I'm totally okay with that. Um, I don't necessarily want to do the in intermittent fasting right now, but I do want to have a late lunch because my dinner is going to be very late. So that's why I'm trying to 
push it off a little bit for today. Um, so that's my food plan. As far as the running, um, I had a chiropractor appointment today and I was going to carpool with my friend. She can't go and I don't have the car. So I was kind of on the fence about going and continuing with the chiropractic care anyway because, <coughs> sorry, because number one, my insurance is not really, at this point, they're not really approving any more visits. And number two, I'm not really noticing any huge difference in my pain level. On the days that I run less and I do less yoga, there is less pain. So if that's the solution and not the chiropractic care, obviously that's not a solution that I want to go with or that I'm willing to do right now. The other thing that I've noticed that is helping a lot is icing the area. So icing my lower back, which my lower back pain is actually pretty minimal right now. And it's uh, mostly the faux sciatica or the inflammation that is bothering me. So icing that has helped a lot. So I think what I'm gonna do is just um, not go with the chiropractic care anymore at this point. And um, I gotta work out guys, I gotta, I gotta do it, I gotta train. Um, I got stuff coming up that I need to train for. So I'm gonna go with just icing the inflammation when it gets too bad, icing my back if that flares up again, and then if things get really bad, then obviously I will have to cut back on workouts for a few days and let everything heal back to square, square one. Um, so I have an unexpected open afternoon that I am not going to the chiropractor. I had planned, oh, I did tell you guys yesterday that I was going to get up early and start doing my workouts at 5.30. I still want to do that, but we got home last night at 12.30. Actually, I think we got home at 12, and by the time I went to bed, it was 12.30. So I was like, no way am I going to get up at 5.30. So it did not work for today, but I'm still planning to do that. Um, starting this week so hopefully starting tomorrow so I planned to run today after work today is also yoga so I will be doing a run after work and then shower and then head to yoga now I have an open lunch break so I think I'm gonna try something new and I think I'm gonna do a run at lunch and a run after work <laughs> I know it's a little crazy but um, I once talked to someone years and years ago who she told me she lost a lot of weight basically by working out two times a day. And I think she was either just walking or she did a run and she did a walk. But it was that was basically completely what she attributed it to. So, but not taking into account just that, I also know a lot of elite runners, hardcore runners who work out twice a day. They run twice a day. So I obviously cannot do that very many days during the week, but I'd like to try it today and just see how my body reacts, see what the pain level would be like, and then kind of see if that helps me just really quickly drop the four pounds. I don't, I don't really believe that tons and tons of exercise helps because I'm a believer that it's really more about what you're putting in your mouth um, that's going to determine whether you lose or gain. So, but I just want to give it a try. I guess it comes back to that thing that I've always ascribed to that you do not know what your body is capable of until you push it. So I am in a frame of mind right now where I just really want to get after my goals. So I am ready to push it. And that's what I'm going to do at least for this week. If I can get up early, at 5 30 then i can do another double run on thursday so i mean maybe we'll just start there we'll start with like two double runs this week see how it feels see how it affects my weight and um it should definitely help me get those 20,000 steps in so that's my crazy plan for today um you guys will probably not see me on my afternoon walk because i need to walk over to the dollar store and get a uh, banana obviously for my lunch and maybe some other fruit because we didn't really do any grocery shopping at all um, this weekend. So I have really nothing but apples at home, which I am not opposed to apples, but uh, something else would be nice too. So I'll probably just get some fruit and some bananas and then also see if they have 
an ice pack that I can freeze and use on the way home because I forgot to bring my ice pack. So I just want to baby that or try to you know help that inflammation as much as possible so I can run as much as possible anyway I feel great you guys I feel I still feel a little like a little chubbier a little more bloated than normal um, my, my jeans these are my size 6 jeans and they are fitting tighter than normal but overall I still feel I feel pretty thin and I feel really good coming off of a five-day weekend with such a minimal gain so yay anyway I'm on my third lap around the park I need to head back to work I also have like I have this massive pile of filing that um, my attorney really wants me to tackle and get a lot of that done um, by the end of the week so I'm really trying to hit that today and then I have a lot of your guys's comments still that I need to get to so Thank you for being patient with me. Um, and again, if you have a burning question that I need to answer, you can either hit me up on Messenger or just ask me again in the comments below. And I will get to you, I promise. Anyway, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. I realized that I did not send any Thanksgiving wishes out to my friends individually or on Facebook or anything. And that's just because I was really enjoying every minute I had with my parents. Um, so it was great. It was a great weekend. Anyway, I will try to touch base with you guys. Um, if not in the afternoon, then hopefully after I have completed not one, but two runs, two runs for the day. I think I'll do, I'm going to try to do four miles at lunch. I know it puts me back late, but I think I'm going to try to do four miles at lunch and four miles after work. So I will insert the pictures here and let you guys know how it went. Okay guys, first workout done. Four miles. Yeah, I did it at 6.3 to 7.0 miles an hour. Now I gotta run back and shower. The thing I didn't plan on, since this is a surprise workout, was I don't have clothes to run my second workout. I have clothes to change into for yoga, but I don't have extra clothes, so this is super gross, but I'm gonna have to leave these hanging in the locker and then wear disgusting wet clothes for my second run. But you know what, if I can do it, if I can pump myself up, set a goal, hit it, and do it in wet, gross, sweaty clothes, I will do it. Then I will shower, then I will shower again and put on fresh clothes for yoga. I also did not bring my hair straightener because I didn't think I was showering at lunch. So the hair is going to be a little wacky for the rest of the day. That's okay. I'll just do something like this. Just keep it behind my ears and um, I'll be a little gross and then tonight I can shower and be all fresh again. I'm just happy that I did it. It's done. First workout. And I'm actually looking forward to the second. Today is literally work and working out. Work and working out and work and working out. Okay guys, I did it. I did two four mile runs in one day and I just did yoga. And it was very doable, but now I'm very tired. The second run I thought would be so exhausting, but I kept the speed at 6.3 miles an hour, and it was one of those runs where you just feel like you could run forever. But now, after yoga, it's like 9.20. I still have to eat dinner, and I'm just very tired, so. Does it feel like you can sleep forever? I could totally sleep forever, but I can't. But I could. Okay, it's almost 10 o'clock and here's what I'm having for dinner tonight. First of all, let me catch you up to what ha I have eaten so far. Um, I did have the peanut butter banana oatmeal for lunch at about 5 o'clock. I had a half a cup of grapes at about 1 o'clock. And then I also have had about another cup of grapes I, that I snacked on for the rest of the evening. I did not eat the cranberry jello and I did not eat my apples. So... 
um, basically grapes today and the peanut butter banana oatmeal. When I got home, I did have a turkey wrap on an Olay Extreme Wellness wrap. So it was just, it was honey, um, Oscar Mayer turkey breast. So it was one point for the turkey breast for two ounces and one point for the Oscar or for the Olay Extreme Wellness wrap. So the wrap that I had was two smart points. So that puts me at five points so far for the day. This is some spaghetti squash chicken pasta. <laughs> Faux chicken pasta, I guess you could say. So what I have is one cup of spaghetti squash on the bottom. Now this spaghetti squash I did cook um, previously and then I froze it. And then when I thawed it, I noticed that it was quite a bit more watery than when you just actually cook it and then eat it and not freeze it. So I've had people ask, um, how do I keep it from being watery? If you cook it in the microwave and you shred it and you eat it, it's not watery at all. But I did notice after I froze it and thawed it, it is more watery. So um, I have a cup of spaghetti squash for zero smart points. I have three ounces of diced chicken breast. Um, I have about a cup of this great value fire roasted diced tomatoes for zero smart points. I used some everything but the bagel sesame seasoning mix and then I also have a quarter cup of Kraft fat free shredded mozzarella for zero smart points. So that is my dinner in the bowl and then I have 18 points of Secco grapefruit bellini here. Um, so that puts me for the entire day at 23 smart points. Um, yeah, 23 smart points, which is perfect. And then over here I have my teeny colon, this nasty, nasty stuff. On the months that I am not doing the teeny detox, I actually still like to take the teeny colon um, the nights before weigh-in just because it helps keep me regular. It's a great clean out and it just... Um, works well before weigh-in. So I'm using actually three tea bags in here tonight. So <laughs> I'm going to try and get up early in the morning and run unless this stops me. <laughs> so it might, but um, we'll see. That would be fine too. So that's all I'm having for dinner tonight, guys. That is my day.